What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Louis Shine. Just hopping on for a few minutes. Uh, got a topic that was on my heart um, when I was thinking about what should I get on to talk about. Um, I actually got on my, came on my heart uh, probably early today, I think late yesterday, something like that. And so then it came on my heart again um, tonight. And so I wanted to get on here and talk about it a little bit and, you know, get some other people to chime in and, you know, see where we can get with it. But, you know, being a former athlete, um, you know, one of the things like with social media, um, when I played ball, there social media wasn't big. Um, there was no social media. Um, <laughs> uh, even in college, college is where um, my space first came around. But it was years after college when Facebook came around. I, I think when I first got a Facebook account, it might have been. 2008 or something like that you know what i mean so there was no instagram there was no twitter um now they might have been around but i i didn't have an account you know so i didn't know anything about it and it, it wasn't as prevalent um <clears throat> then as it is now you know and so i always joke and uh tell people that man if i if i had instagram facebook twitter snapchat youtube if all those things were happening when I played basketball, I feel like the, with the exposure that social media and the internet gives, excuse me, I would have played at some D1, major D1 school. Uh, because you, instead of trying to, to package a VHS tape, um, you know, and send it out to a coach or trying to get a coach from across the country to come and look at you, you can send film, you can send um, a YouTube clip, you can send. Um, now you can send CDs and, and just different things that back then was not available. I mean, back when I played, we still was making mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a little different now. Um, so one of the things like with, with social media and athletes, um, one of the things that is available now is, is these different platforms that um, you can take advantage of, especially if you find yourself as a young athlete, um, high schooler. Um, and you're trying to make it to college, um, you know, a social media platform can can definitely help you do that. Um, and one of the ways it can help you do that is first and foremost, it's it's like a resume. It's like a live resume, um, uh, like a resume blog where people can can go to your page and, and tell it and look and see what your life is about. Um, believe it or not, a lot of coaches, <laughs> um, especially myself, um, coaches will go to your social media page to see what you're about, to see what kind of things you're into. Um, a lot of people live their life out loud on their social media. Excuse me. A lot of people live their life out loud on their social media pages. So, you know, why wouldn't somebody, a future employer, a future coach, um, go to your page just to see what you're doing, see what you're talking about, what kind of language you're using, um, what kind of pictures are you posting, uh, what kind of company are you keeping? Um, that that's very smart because, you know, sometimes young athletes don't look through the eyes of a coach or the eyes of an employer. Um, they're making an investment, um, a university, they're making an investment. So, um, they want to see what you're about before you step into the shoes of representing their university, um, representing their basketball team. I know I would, and I do, um, so for any young athletes that are listening, just just know that, um, you know, what you post on your social media media can potentially open or close doors to your future, um, depending on where you're trying to go, what you're trying to do. Um, and you want to make sure that when you post things, you want to keep that kind of stuff in mind. Um, <clears throat> yes, you're going to have fun on there. You talk to your friends and different things like that. But you have to put yourself in the eyes of the people that you might be playing for one day, um, the people you might be working for one day, the schools that you might be going to. And if there are certain things that you're posting or certain conduct that, you, that you're keeping up virtually, um, what are they going to think? You know, excuse me. So um, I've heard year after year there's been colleges that have offered full ride scholarships to athletes and then an athlete will post something that causes those colleges to take that scholarship away. This happened many, many, many a times, top colleges, um, mid-major colleges, um, because, you know, 
by bringing you to their university, they, that's an investment. All right, so they're, they're watching your conduct. Um, and just speaking to the athletes, because I have a heart for athletes, um, and this is high school, this is college, even college athletes, let's back up. Even college athletes, um, if you want to make it to the pros, um, if you want to, to, to succeed in sports past your collegiate level, um, you got to watch the conduct that you carry on social media. Um, when you post something, it's out there, man. Everybody's watching it. Even people, here's the thing, and this is so true, even people that are not commenting, people that are not liking your stuff, um, or people that's not watching your stuff or don't show up, um, there's more people that are watching than might comment or like your stuff. There's people that are watching that you may not think that are watching. Um, there's always somebody else watching. They might not like your stuff or comment, but they're watching. And so you want to keep that in mind because, you know, if you're, if you're talking about going to the NBA or the NFL or, or anything like that, um, you can't be on your social media drinking and, and smoking and different things like that. You just can't. I mean, um, that shouldn't be the kind of an athlete in the first place, but um, you shouldn't be putting that on social media because your future boss, <laughs> your GM or your team owner, um, they're going to see that stuff, man. And if you're being looked at, um, your stuff is being watched even the more, you know, so um, you want to make sure that um, – you know, you keep your, your, your social media clean because, like I say, it's your online resume. It's the one of the very first things that people who are interested in you in any way, shape, or form, um, um, whether that's a, a team owner, a team coach, or employer, they're looking at your social media. I know for myself, you know, um, I've made it a habit, like on my resumes and different things like that, just put your social media on there because they're going to go look. Um, so, hey, you know what? Here it is. Go take a look at it, you know. Um and another thing, too, you have to use your social media to promote yourself. You know, not only keep it clean, um, but on the other side, you got to promote yourself. So, like, um, if you're an athlete, um, <clears throat> you want to put highlights on there. Put put your highlight film on there. Put, um, you know, pictures of you, um, you know, scoring the ball or catching a pass. Um, make it about where you're trying to go so that when people take a look at it, they're like, oh, man, this guy does this. Um, this guy, he's in the community. He's not only a point guard, but he does things in the community. You know, if you're volunteering, if you're doing something for Habitat for Humanity or or just engaged in your campus, um, some extracurricular activities, um, put those types of things on social media so that people can see what you're doing, so they can see what you're about. Um, use your social media for where you're going, not just for the moment or things that are just like right now and I'm having fun. That's great. However, put some things on there that um, are going to help you. I see a lot of pro athletes, especially um, some pro athletes. They they're they're really doing really well on their social media um, in terms of their numbers and different things like that. But then there's some social, um, some pro athletes that I see their social media and um, they they use their social media as a means for income. And uh, <clears throat> I think it's really cool because um, there's a way that you can build it, especially as a pro athlete, um, build your page to where now you can make that a revenue stream for yourself. And so, you know, even with pro athletes, you have to post pictures of yourself. Some people are like, oh, you know, I'm not into that and different things like that. But but sometimes, you know, you have to use what's available and, um, you know, you can hire somebody to do that. You know what I'm saying? So you want to use it to post your pictures, post things that you do in the community, behind the scenes type stuff, because there's fans out there and without the fans or nothing. So um, you can begin to use your social media um, as a means to, to generate a revenue for yourself and then also to set up your career past playing sports. Um, so you just have to build some of those things. And, you know, if, if you're watching this and you're interested, um, I definitely would love to speak to you uh, because I have some ways that I can help you on that kind of stuff. But social media is such a great tool. And we just have to be careful with it because sometimes we um, use it as an impulse uh, mechanism to where we just want to vent and talk about things. But but we have to, you know, if you're if you're looking for a future um, in any in any genre of, of, of employment, um, you know, if, if you're looking to to be a ball player, um, football, baseball, basketball, whatever it is, um, number one, use social media It's free marketing. It's, it's a way to market yourself, to let people know who you are, to show people that you are alive and that you actually exist. 
Um, and then it's a way, it's a place that people are going to go to to find you anyway. Um, I mean, when I was a team owner, that's one of the first things I did. Okay, um, let me go look at this guy um, and see what he's about. You know, what is he doing? What is his life about? What is he posting? Um, you know, because a lot of times you can see um, into a person and, and what they're about by things they post. It's not 100% accurate, but um, it is it is something that you can go by to get a really quick glance at who a person is. And then, you know, you can follow up on a call, ask some questions, different things like that. Um, but as athletes, man, use social media to your advantage. Post your highlight films, post your stats, um, post pictures, post game film. Um, get on and just talk, you know, um, ma uh, market yourself, you know. Uh, because people are watching as as college athletes as pro athletes post your stuff man um, because it, it can really help you so um, that was just on my heart today man I just wanted to share some of that um, because I think as athletes social media we don't really recognize sometimes how dynamic it can be um, and, and how many people are really 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 um, tuned in and actually watching what you do um, if you have any kind of talent if you have any kind of ability if you have any kind of desire to go forward um, and you caught the eye of people or you have any level of talent that that can can suit a basketball team at the next level, wherever you might be. Somebody's watching. You, all right. Somebody's taking a look at you. Somebody is um, scrolling down your page to see what's going on with this person. And you want to just make sure that whoever is taking a look at that, you want to have you want to make a good impression um, and you want to um, give them some things to kind of wet their tongue and and be excited about, you know, scoping out who you are even more. So um, but that's it, man. I hope that helps somebody. If this helped you, please share this um, or please tag somebody in this that you feel that needs to hear this. Uh, but until next time, it's your boy Lewis Shine, Coach Shine. Um, talk to you guys soon. Peace.